So we got a 10 month year old baby, another baby shot in Chicago. We have a man shot in broad daylight in Milwaukee, Trump supporter. And we have another man stabbed in Portland just this weekend. And you still got people out here saying that there's nothing going on in these cities. You got to be the most blindest, craziest person I've ever seen in my life. Anytime I hear a child or anybody getting killed for no senseless reason, it bothers me. 10 month baby got shot. Another child gets shot in Chicago just a few days ago. And I don't even know what to say about that, but my prayers go out to their family. I am so tired of saying my prayers go out to people's family for senseless killings and murdering out here in this country. Mayors of a lot of these cities are ignoring just because of the hate, like I said on a previous video for Trump. Barnell Trammell, black man gets shot in broad daylight in Milwaukee. Trump supporter. Actually, he was an independent. He wasn't even a Republican. He was a Rastafarian, independent, but he supported Trump. Somebody walks up, drives up on the bike, not sure quite yet, and shoots this man in broad daylight. Where's Black Lives Matter? Where's all the protesting for these children getting killed out here, like I said before, over and over again? Where's the love that for these people right here? And you mean to tell me you got companies and people bowing down to Black Lives Matter? Here's another hate group, because that's what Black Lives Matter is to me, a terrorist group. Here's another one, Antifa, Portland, Oregon, just this weekend, Saturday. Black man, Trump supporter, gets stabbed by Antifa. And you know what I was thinking? I think I understand why these people are thinking like this, is trying not just to get Trump out or make him look like some that what he's not, because really it's making them look stupid. These crimes and all this stuff that's going on are in their cities. You got Mayor Lightfoot of Chicago, again, refusing help from Trump. But you got a 10-month-year-old baby, just this weekend, another one who gets killed. But her hatred and her political stance is first before these people lie. You can't tell me it ain't. Common sense to tell anybody that. Because if it wasn't, like I said before, these people would do anything they have to do to get these people some help out here. In their cities, the cities that they run. You don't hear this in other cities, Republican ran cities, right? You hear this in Democrat ran cities, governors of these cities. You have a man get shot in, in Milwaukee, broad daylight, for no apparent reason. A no, he's known throughout the uh, community from what I've heard. People know this man, know his heart is good from what I've read so far. I don't know a lot about him personally, but I don't have to to know that it's senseless. Nutty Naylor, just on TV the other day, that said it was a myth. Check it out for yourself. It's a myth. That's what's going on. A, a reporter walked up to this guy and asked him, hey, so what are we going to do about these killings? Or in, I'm paraphrasing, in these cities, this dude had, this guy had the, the audacity to say that it, it's nothing going on. It's a myth. Ted Wheeler, just yesterday I watched. Portland, Oregon. Mayor of Portland, Oregon. This nutcase says that the National Guard presence is making it worse for the people of Oregon. Common sense to tell you that the National Guard wouldn't be there if it wasn't a problem, right? Trump wouldn't be sending troops out there if it wasn't something going on to guard. You know what it is, though? Like I was watching the, uh, the thing with Bill Barr 
and all the Democrats, and they were all Democrats up there for the most part. It was a couple Republicans, but for the most part, Democrats just going at Bill Barr wouldn't let him answer a question, accusing him of everything, but wouldn't even let him answer the questions that they ask. And I say, I wonder why they're doing that. Oh, okay, I get it. I think I know why they're doing that because they're trying to make an image for the public. They want to be heard, but they don't want truth to come out. It seemed like they got together in the back and said, okay, guys, this, this, this is what we're going to do. We're going to ask all the questions. We're going to say this. It's our time. And we don't have a lot of time, but we're going to accuse Bill Barr, Attorney General of the United States, of all this horrific stuff, but not give him a chance to answer and respond to any questions that we ask him. It really seemed like that. For anybody who watched that, if you haven't, go check that out. I know there's a lot of people who's not into politics, but I tell you, it's a time to be in the politics right now. If you care about people and you care about your country, it doesn't matter, like I said before, what what, what po political party you, you're you in. What's right is right. What's wrong is wrong. Do yourself a favor. Go check that out. If I wasn't a Christian man, I'd be saying all type of derogatory words. These people are really characters. Stop following up behind this culture, color, a narrative that's going on in this country. Black lives matter. These people do not care about black people because there's been multiple people, black people of color who have got injured, killed in fear of their life that you never hear about black lives matter marching, responding to, or even trying to help their narrative is a single narrative is to promote hate and whatever else stupidity that that they promote because they're not caring for people or even black lives and i'm not just trying to categorize this just for black people because we're all here in this country no matter what color you are or just stand up for what's right even if you're not a christian you know what's right or wrong you i'm not trying to convert people to be a christian i would suggest that you do follow god and get yourself uh in a relationship with christ so you can have a better life here and after this i would su heavily suggest that but i'm not trying to make you make your mind up you let god make your mind up all i'm saying is that everybody know what's right and wrong christian or not you know what's right and wrong since you was a baby stand up for what's right stop being followers and cowards and fearful over what somebody else might think that might persuade your way or persuade your way of thinking and doing things in this country or just period you got kids out here marching talking about f the police did y'all see that matthew 633 man look subscribe if you like what i'm saying hit like share this man we have to open our eyes up to see what's going on this is not a republican and a democrat problem this is a spiritual problem and the devil is using people for his own good and using a lot of these people for his own good and a lot of people are just blind to it. Matthew 6.33, go love somebody. I will talk to you next video.